Congress meets today to formalize the election and supporters of President Trump will be rallying in protest just down the National Mall. The president claims the election was stolen from him and he will win his effort to stay in power. This morning, John Shumway looks into what could happen today. Yeah, John? interesting stuff going on here, Heather. And if it hasn't been ugly enough already, this is shaping up to be an historic day in Washington. But presidential historian and the president of Duquesne University, Ken Gormley, says we've been here before. We have had a, a few of these in our history. There was the contested Hayes Tilden election in 1876 that led to a mess, but that was resolved and a law was passed after that, the Electoral Count Act of 1887, that fixed many of those problems. And that's what we are governed by today. Every once in a while, uh, you know, one member of Congress will object just to express a moral opinion about something. Here you have one candidate who's refusing to accept that he has lost the election, pushing and pushing to try to get folks to raise objections. And that part is unprecedented when there's really no chance of that actually succeeding, what's the point? It's all political theater at this point, John. And this is what's sad to me that a lot of the members of the American public have been misled by folks who are just doing this for political posturing purposes. They can raise questions and objections, but it would take both houses of Congress to overturn it. That isn't happening. We know that already. But a lot of members of the public, because you have this political posturing going on to try to make it look like there was confusion, has upset a lot of people. And that is very unfortunate. So while there are going to be demonstrations outside and members of Congress objecting inside, ultimately, Heather, it's not going to change anything. And Joe Biden's election will be formalized. OK, so how long do we expect this process to take today? Because I, all eyes are going to be watching. CBS News is going to have a special report starting at 1 o'clock today. Uh, do we have any idea? It all boils down to how long they let each person who is objecting speak. And there are a lot, as you've heard the numbers, what, 100 House members and a dozen senators or more. Uh, this could be a long, drawn-out affair today. Okay, John, thank you so much.